Hi, this is Amy Jo Berman with your quick acting slash auditioning tip of the day. Uh, today I want to actually give you a tip that's, it's not, I know a lot of you guys really like the how-tos, where should I go, what should I stand, what should I say, what should I not say, and that's all really important, and I'll do some more tips like that for sure, but I really wanted to talk to you a little bit about where your head is at, because it's, uh, it's much more important than, uh, you know, the technical stuff about an audition, and I, I get questions all the time from a lot of you guys about what's the right thing to do and the you know that you want to say the exact right perfect thing and you want to do everything right and you know you can't please everybody that that is a really if you can embody this tip alone it will really really help you start booking more okay you can't please everybody not everybody's going to like you and you know what that's okay not everybody has to like you what if it's okay for not everybody to like you? You really only need a few fans to actually, you know, or maybe even just one to open a door for you to help you get that next job or that leg up. You don't have to have everybody love you. So when you're trying to please everyone, you can't really be who you are. Does that make sense? So if you're not being who you are, then you can't show up fully in the audition no matter how good you are because you're trying to please everybody, you want everybody to like you. What's, what's much more effective is if you do the best you can, you kind of snap into who you are and you show up fully in the audition as you and then whatever character you're creating will be that much more alive and the people in the room will receive you so much better because you're, you're being you and you're not trying to please them. Okay, people can feel the energy of people pleaser and it's not fun. It's, you know, just think of it like dating. You know, when you go on a date and you're, you're opposite somebody who's trying so hard to please you, isn't it kind of like, eh, right? You don't want to be eh, in an audition. You want people leaning towards you, not leaning uh, like this, right? And the way to get people to come towards you is to just be so you that they just can't help but lean in because they want to get more. Does that make sense? So I know this is a kind of a random tip. It's not really, um, I, I'm not going to apologize for this tip. This is an awesome tip. <laughs> this is really important, and I really hope that you got it. And here's one favor I'd really like to ask of you. If you have gotten any value from this tip or any tip that I've ever done, I want to ask a little favor of you. Uh, a good friend of mine happens to be one of the best kids acting coaches on the planet. Her name is Helen Anzalone, and I'm going to put a link right below this video. And would you please go and vote for her for best acting coach and vote for her classes as best classes for kids in Los Angeles. And she really deserves to win. She's awesome. And I know that with your support and mine, uh, she can actually win the crown of uh, best kids acting coach in town. And, uh, and I really appreciate that very, very much. So if you've ever gotten any value from any tip I've ever done, that, and you see this sometime before uh, Friday night at, at midnight. I guess the voting is over tomorrow night. Uh, if you're watching this sometime in the future, then you know ignore that. But if you're watching it now and sometime before Friday night, please, 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 pretty please go vote for Helen. And drop me a comment and let me know that you did so I know how to thank you. Okay? This is Amy Jo Berman, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.